Alright, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Tech It Classic. And uh, as you can see, I've done a little bit of renovations, or finishing up the build here. I decided to go with hanging glowstone lanterns, because I like the look of those. And I added another uh, platform around this other tree. I noticed that it was directly across from this one in terms of the blocks, so that made it easy to construct. I went with a little bit of a different design with this one. I think it turned out pretty well, but let me know what you guys think. As for this bridge, I like the way it turned out in general, but I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this wool or if I should have. Uh, for instance, some sort of railing string to accompany it. Uh, if I do that, though, I can build a little sample right here. It might look a little bit too high. So we might have to lower this one right here to make that look normal. Because if I put it right here, it looks uh, connected. But if I put it up here, then... Like, I don't know, it just looks a little bit too high standing right here anyway. Uh, maybe I should build the whole thing, but... Yeah, as for replacement wool covers, or colors, if I were to redo this, I've been thinking something along the lines of green, maybe black, or gray. But, as for now, that is undecided. But... Today, uh, I think we should get a bit more done with Equivalent Exchange. In the last episode, I made a Philosophy Stone. I uh, actually had a bit of a mishap. This is not my first one. I've been with uh, a Pastron down in these new mines that he's been making. And we had a little bit of uh, an interesting... Well, we had some fun down there. I'll show you what the results of that are looking like now. And here we are. Uh, so as you can see, as we head down here, it looks a bit different than it did when we came down to collect the obsidian. And uh, in case you haven't noticed by now, there's grass at the bottom. Yeah, we did kind of a lot of things down here. And, uh, I actually kind of like the way this looks, to tell you the truth. Not sure that I'm fond of the sandstone, but, uh, we've been using the Philosopher's Stone to replace some of all the stone with grass, which, uh, it, it does look interesting, to say the least. But yeah, we've still got some ores we've got to pick up. There's an energy condenser over this way, surrounded with regular stone, it's been used to make coal. There's a lot of stuff in here, you said it's mostly community type stuff, but, uh, I don't know, I might take some stuff from it. Let's get right into things. I I don't know. I, I did take a few things from down there, uh, but I mean I don't know. It was free for the taking, so I figure why not. Uh, so first things first, we're going to want to make an alchemical chest. Probably make. Uh, some covalent stuff so we can get a talisman and prepare it going like a Pastron has in his house. Uh, get some of these tools repairing, especially this poor Emerald Max. It's probably going to break soon if we don't do something about it. I also probably should do something to consolidate uh, some of these things. Uh, 
and I did a regular log that way. I can put these in the chest, these in this one. But alchemical chest. Ah yes, so we need the covalence dust for that, as well as stone, diamonds, iron. So we'll get that. And then we need to get some stone and coal. It's another piece of iron, I think. And then a diamond. And what was the other thing that we needed? Was it lapis? No, that, it, that was coal. And this one needed redstone. Okay. So, uh, I can use this actually. Not that it makes too much of a difference. And then we make this kind. And then we make this kind. Just because I'm a little bit OCD about it. Then we gotta get some stone right here. And then, oh, I got the wood. Let's just make a bunch of planks. And now, we should probably make two of these actually, because we've got to make an energy condenser as well. Though, I don't have obsidian, so we're just going to keep that here for now. Oh, dang it. I really need to do something about that, because you see, with the Philosopher's Stone, you can transmute stuff. Jungle leaves to any other kind of leaf, but not back to jungle. So that could be a bit of a problem. I've accidentally right clicked on several things and I've found out so has a Pastron actually and that's one of the reasons why <laughs> my logs ended up changed. For some reason I just wasn't quite paying attention to that. But yeah, that's the reason why. Chestception. And we've got to get some paper and some string. Well, sugar cane. We're making that into paper now. And then do 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 do. And there we go. Talisman of repair. So I'm gonna put this actually at the bottom right here. And then we'll put all of our tools in there. Well, now this is embarrassing. Uh, maybe when one of these is fully repaired, I will give it to a Pastron. That's not a bad use of it, I think. I may have wasted a little bit of iron on all these chests, because I had smelted it the old-fashioned way. But, oh. One of the things that I need to do is make a diamond pickaxe, which conveniently I just barely have enough to make. And so I've got to go mine some obsidian. So, yeah. That's a little bit of uh, foresight, lack on my part, putting my sword into the alchemical chest and not taking it back out. Um, oof. Dang. I'm going to be in a bit of trouble if I run into mobs. Although, I can be a little bit less conscientious about... Uh, using up durability on my pickaxe is a waste, since I can just repair it anyway. Although I have no way to block attacks. Like, this pickaxe is better than nothing, but I wouldn't recommend it. Unless you're in a real pinch, which I might end up being in. Nicolite? 
and if I were to oh no 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 ah here we go here's the good stuff this lapis ah I'm just kidding here's the good stuff let's see if there's anything else over around here first clear out the area so that we don't get uh, point blanked by a creeper I gotta get some gold gold is pretty good it's pretty high EMC value for what it is ooh tungsten that was quite a steal right there two pieces of it alright I'm glad that I turned around and looked for some of that and then do here I'm just gonna put this right here Let's pick those up so that we don't lose them to the lava. Because although losing stuff to the lava actually seems less likely because of the way it's working in this version, but you never know. I'd rather not have that sort of a thing get lost. to think of it, this is probably way more obsidian than I need, because I will actually be able to condense more. All I probably needed was about five of this stuff. Well, without further ado, we will return to the surface. No, stop, stop. Don't do this to me. It's like hot pursuit. I'm in hot pursuit. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away. Away. Have you ever played uh, Meeblings? Great game. Oh, I want that uranium. Uranium. There we go. Ah. That was unintentional. And we're back at the base. So, what was it? Oh, right, I think I need. Was it? Oh, I need four diamonds for that. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to make a bit of a deal here. I'm not going to take what I cannot get with this stuff right here. So whatever I take from here is... Or whatever I take from that mining chest is the equivalent amount EMC wise. So let's see. So that's four diamonds worth. Alright, come to think of it, I don't know why 
that limitation on myself, but I did. And so that's that. Oh, I could have just used this t these two tungsten ores as an EMC equivalent, but no matter. We've got the condenser for my own base. If I see you up there. I've just now realized that I've been applying these rules a little bit inconsistently because I took those diamonds earlier, but then I made a point of explicitly saying that I was going to get the EMC or trade the EMC equivalent for the others. But, uh, oh, whatever. Can't make complete sense, right? Alright. Alright, we've got this charcoal to worry about too. Well, we got more lapis, which is always a good thing. And here we've got this. I should have taken these out a long time ago. But they're done now. So we've got those back. And that tree tab. Man, that tree tab ready to be uh, used. I don't think we're going to need this much Nicolite. Oh yeah. Four more Mobius fuel. And come to think of it, just for the sake of actually doing it, let's make some Eternalist fuel. There we go. Er, yeah, I think, I don't know how you pronounce it, Aeternalis, Eternalis, uh, let me know if I'm wrong, I'm going with Eternalis for now though. So, after this, we do something, that's for sure. I've got so much obsidian and so little to do with it, oh! That's what it was. We want to make a transmutation tablet. Alright, so... The real question here is how do you craft with a Philosopher's Stone onto a Philosopher's Stone? Like, on itself is where the crafting is taking place. I'm not a person to answer this question. But, okay, here we go. So now we've got... We want to teach it everything that we can. And then we'll teach it the shears. We'll teach it torches. We'll teach it spider eyes. Workshop. Why not? Emerald axe. Emerald pickaxe. Sapphire sword. Pretty soon we're gonna have all of the stuff put in. Uh, it, it'll probably be later rather than sooner if we're being honest here. But we've got to do it all eventually, right? At least I think so. We'll put in Nikolai, Redstone, Glowstone. There we go, we've got this, this, this. Oh, right. Since it's locked onto fuel, we can't do that. Matter. Stone axe, that's a must for your transmutation uh, lexicon. 
can't can't get by without it. I mean, seriously, if you if you don't have one of those in your transmutation stuff, I I pity you. Oh, gosh, that's got to be tough life. One of the things I have not done yet, though, is Mobius fuel or alchemical coal. That's what it was. So we put that in. We've got all of this selection, and yet we still choose to be salty. Let's get tungsten ore. It's basically the only ore that we can actually get put in. Let's get obsidian. This, this, this is probably really boring. Probably gonna cut all of it out to tell you the truth. Except for some bits, I'm not. <sighs> so many things. I forgot to transmute uh, to keep a to get an extra diamond because that's we don't have any right now that we can transmute. Let's not mix these if we can avoid it. Did I put this in? Yes. But I'm pretty sure I didn't put this in. Or this in. Or this. Or this. Or Did I put this one in? I don't know. I did at that point, so... I need to have some sort of auto-sorting system, eventually. Did I put these in? Let's check. Alright. I think... Oh. That is a pretty significant amount of things that I've added in. Let's see. Kind of think of it, I could probably sort some of this stuff even more than I have been now. Alright, and one of the things that we mustn't forget is that we can transmute these. into other kinds of wood to put in here as well as uh, we need to get the planks of all the wood types that exist in the game currently anyway uh, we'll get one of these I think because I don't care what they end up being We'll I thought, oh here we go. That that was how this works. Ah, I'm, it's all coming back to me now. I'm not sure if I put rotten flesh in. Did I? Yes I have. So there we go. I think that'll do it for now. Unless I forgot to do arrows. Now I'm getting like paranoid level. Gotta make sure it's all put in. Gotta make sure. Gotta make sure. Gotta get the furnace. Gotta get the crafting table. And there. We've got those put in. Uh, you can put in lapis blocks. Oh right, this is the uh, old lapis block texture, where it's uh, 
it doesn't have any beveled edging on it. Uh, I don't think there are redstone blocks. I'm sure we put in obsidian. Yeah, we did. Yeah, before I go crazy with this... Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, yes? Hey, uh, check this out. Look at me. Yeah, oh. check this out. Woo! By the way, it's not charged. Uh, just... <laughs> I had to make a better charging bench for it, but it's... It looks cool, though. Look at that. It does. That is mm -hmm. some pretty cool looking equipment. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm still vulnerable, <laughs> but... <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> well, you have a lot of stuff going on up here. I hope I'm not spoiling anything. Oh, no, it's it's all right. This is towards the end of the episode and everything, anyway. Cool. And since cool. they're uploading at the same time, it's not going to be an oh, yeah, issue. <laughs> all right, well, I'll see you later. I'm going to go end my episode now. All right, uh, I was actually just about to do the same here. Uh, so, uh. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm going to end the episode right here, so hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Wait, wait, wait. There's one thing I forgot. What'd you forget? I forgot to give you my spare ruby handsaw from me. Aww. I give it to you. Thank you. I, I, I don't know if I'll use it, but thank you. <laughs> Uh, if you want, you can just throw it in your hand. You can dance it. <laughs> Alright, well, I might keep it. Just for safekeeping. Probably frame it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That will end it for realsies.